I threw a grenade. I'm gonna push when that goes off. There we go. There's one. Oh, they had no idea I was there. Oh my god! Okay, reload, reload. Wow. That was lucky. Welcome to body cam. This is an early access test of the game. And we're jumping in for one of the first times here. So the developers emailed me and asked if I wanted to join on the latest playtest and record. And I was like, yeah, sure. So this game mode at the moment is a 6v6 team deathmatch. First to 10. And as you may have guessed, this is running on Unreal Engine 5. The lighting and the textures are pretty ridiculous. And it's got this weird body cam control system. It feels very odd playing a game like this. I'm going to have to get used to it because, oh, there's a drone there. What the hell? So you move the gun with your mouse. And then when you get to the edge of the screen or when you get to this invisible boundary, then it turns the camera. So it takes a bit of getting used to, definitely. I've only ever played one other game like this and it was a horror game. Oh, look at that. Wow. But there's also that unrecord game coming out too. We haven't found this last guy, so I think the round's going to end and we're going to win this one because there's more of our team alive here. And that flashlight, that looks so good, doesn't it? Crazy. Oh, there's another drone. Where are you going? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Hey, there we go. Round one in the bag. That's the scoreboard. Teammates are blurred. Their faces are pixelated. This is a shotgun. Yes, oh my god. <laughs> the guns are so loud. So I'm going to rush this because I, I feel like they spawn over in that right-hand corner there based on that last round. This is where I went with the pistol. Got my own frag down this time. I guess they've all got shotguns as well though, so got to be careful. That's the guy. Dead. Oh, the shotguns are effective at range. There's a little hole here, isn't there? I went through that. Hello. Oh, I... My brain is doing tricks up. That's another drone. So the drones must be something that you get. Oh. Whee. How do I get my own drone? Was that in the corner? Nope, looks good. Friendly down there. Go down the stairs. Okay, that's a bad guy. Oh no, did he just kill my mate? You'll pay for that. Boom, <laughs> right in the back. Dropped him. Round win. Yeah, that was the last guy. Yeah, the pixelated faces, I think that just kind of adds to the realism because we're not very good at making faces in video games yet. This room is so dark. hear a TV there. I mean, it's a horror game. I'm getting out of here. Dead end. Head up the stairs, maybe. Gunshot on my left. Oh! Oh, did I get him? Yes! Dropped him. Wow. Woo. This is intense, man. This is really, really intense. Your teammates have got this green wall hack box around them. I think friendly fire's on. You know what? I think I'm going to go outside this time. Through the middle. How much cover here? Oh, I love the way the camera overexposes there. And that's the reason that I think it looks so good, because it's not mimicking what your eyes see. It's mimicking what... A the body cam looks like and you know they've done a pretty good job of it that's why it tricks you i think oh that's a bad guy can i shoot through that got him okay right yeah that gun has got a lot of recoil to ak let's have a look yeah there we go ak again this one doesn't have a sight on by the looks of it so every round it's going to give you a different gun, or both teams a different gun. 
Do I have legs in this game? Yeah, I can save my own legs. Push up here. Starting to learn the map a bit now. Dragon hold. See if they figured it out yet. Enemy. He's dead. I just saw one at the end of the corridor there. He's dead. I don't think that was the same guy. Might be through here somewhere. Oh, there he is! Ah, oh, I couldn't aim! I just had to hold my sword. I think I couldn't aim because I was in the in the hole. Oh! I was good. I was controlling the drone. Okay. So when you die, you get the drone. You can fly the drones around and I guess try and find the enemies for your teammates. So you just throw a frag there at the wall. <laughs> so at least we know what the drones are now. Although I only had one of them, so I suppose that if it gets shot by an enemy or the battery life depletes maybe, then you lose it. They get him? Yeah. Enemy down. What the hell? Okay, this is pitch black. It's night time. I'm gonna frag the end of that corridor there. Whoa! Right, I mean, it's literally, you can't see a thing with the, the flashlight off. <laughs> that is horrible. No. No, 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 no. The problem is, if I've got my flashlight on, like this, the enemy can see me. But if I don't have it on, I can't see a thing. There is a body there. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> no. No. This... Uh it's not right, man. It's dark again. Two rounds in a row and there's no lights on. I wish I had NVGs, that'd be sick. Why are the lights flashing? It makes it worse, the fact that the lights are flashing on and off. I'm just holding... Is that an enemy flashlight? Maybe? Yeah? Come on, come on. I mean, he's, he's just had a jump scare right there. <laughs> oh! I get him? Eat it. Oh. Don't think I got him. You can lean as well like this, which is cool. There's nobody there, is there? Where are you? He's in there. Oh, God. My heart, man. I don't know how... <laughs> I don't know how much longer I can keep playing this game for. Well, at least I can fly my drone around. Hey, I've got a torch on the drone. Wait, oh, I've got night vision. Sweet. Uh, where's the enemy? I've got no idea. Friendly. Don't shoot. Is that a friendly drone or an enemy drone? I've got no idea. Whee! Through the hole? Yes. 15 seconds. I can't find this guy. Friendly down there. Couple of bodies. No idea. Nope, can't find him. I guess if I was on Discord or on chat, I could tell my teammates where to find the bad guy. I feel like I'm getting used to the controls now. The more I play it, the more I'm understanding the mechanics of it, but it's very odd. I find myself leaning into my monitor a lot too, and that helps. But I can see some people getting motion sick with this, definitely. In your entire life, you've been playing FPS games that don't look and control and feel like this, so it's going to mess with your brain a bit. Might take a bit of getting used to. I can guarantee, though, that the next COD campaign will have a section in it where it looks like this and you're a body cam. There's going to be so many of these type of games coming out over the next couple of years. I think it lends itself well to horror. Oh man, UE5. The, the lighting. That guy there. <laughs> I'm just mouse one there. Shooting at the muzzle flash. Maybe I got a kill. Who knows? 
teammates fighting down here. See if I can help. It's a lot of gunfire. They got him. End around. Cool. I much prefer the daytime. Looks like a scar this round. I'm gonna hold the window and see if anyone comes through the middle. Just firing into the doorway in case. Yeah, that'd be sweet, actually. That wall there, if you could put a breaching charge on it. Blow a hole in it. I know Unreal Engine 5's got some form of destruction built in. I've seen demos of it. Oh, it's snowing outside. Makes me wonder, maybe Rainbow Six could do a single-player campaign like this. Or multiplayer. Hyper-realistic. Oh, the muzzle flash. Illuminates everything. I can barely see a thing there. I don't really want to turn my flashlight on as a drone. Sounds like they're right above me. I mean, that looked photorealistic to me then. On the right. Should be here somewhere. Ooh. There's one. Nice little double kill. Drone flying into the wall. It's dead. Is that... Oh. That's an enemy drone. Teammate. Just looks like those uh, airsoft or paintball videos, doesn't it? The effect is so well done. As I mentioned, the more I play this, the more I'm getting into it. End around. Oh, can't move. Wait, is that the tenth round? I can move now. Round win, 10-4. Yeah, I think that's the end of the game. Good job, 156 points, I guess. This is the lobby screen. <laughs> Good job, lads. I'm going to play a different game mode though. I think there's a couple of other maps and game modes to try in the test. So, see what I can find. I think this is free for all. We're in like a training facility. I've just got a shotgun. I didn't get to choose. Who is here? Oh, I'm dead. This is very close quarters. Maybe a dragon off I've got here. Not sure. <laughs> One shot, man. Ruined. That's an Uzi. Is he dead? Oh, oh I'm dead. What's it gonna be this time? Oh, I'm dead again. That spawn though. Try again. <laughs> I'm just scared of being spawn camped here. Wow. Was that three kills? Oh man, hell of a lot of recoil on that gun. Damn it. Good night. Oh. Sorry. Right, very satisfying playing this when you can drop people so quickly Whoa, you can be dropped as well shotgun blasted stuck in the middle hard to tell where people are absolutely ruined him there's a guy right there a pen it. Oh. oh, is that the end of the game? GG. So before I end the video, I just want to show you guys a couple things in the playtest. So if we go to player and then locker, there's a few things you can customize here. The way that your guy looks. There's some presets here too. 
bit of customization there however you want to look and then if we go back and then to the server browser edit selection so at the moment it appears that it's just tdm and deathmatch and there is another map here the worn house but if we scroll over there's a few other maps that it looks like they're gonna bring to the game later on and this is the server browser here very rudimentary early access got a lot of work to do there obviously a lot of updates to do with the user interface whatever but yeah that's it i mean i can load into the worn house and just show you guys what that looks like here it is feels a bit resident evil doesn't it so i think this is just me on the server by myself yeah nobody in terrorists searching for players there are doors that you can open i don't think there are any doors on those other maps that i just played go up the stairs here graffiti all over the walls laundry room there if i can get in a look around very close quarters map this one i'm just interested to see with games like this where they do this body cam style what other game modes they could put in objective based game modes i think that would be neat do you imagine this as a rainbow six map attack and defend where one team's in the house with hostages or something or a bomb the other team has to come in and save the hostages or disarm the bomb yeah there we go that's a quick first gameplay and impressions of body cam sure there's going to be many other games like this soon let me know your thoughts below guys thank you for watching drop me a like if you enjoyed the video dislike if you didn't right, thanks to the devs for the key as well subscribe if you're new here and i'll see you next time Bye bye